Welcome everyone to Life Changing Wellness and I want to thank you for tuning in today here on YouTube. Be sure to click subscribe free before you leave. Also, visit us at drwardbond.com. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Bright Core Nutrition, the makers of Sweet Wheat and their complete collagen protein product with all three types of collagen, which I know you will enjoy. Be sure to visit them at brightcorenutrition.com and mention my name, Dr. Bond, for discounts on every order. And today we talk about the top six nutrients for better energy. I want to kind of kick this off because so many people contact me and ask me, what can I take for energy? You know, I drink caffeine, I drink coffee every morning. That's just enough to wake you up, but that's not the type of energy we need to get throughout the whole day and to, well, be more productive. So for all of you career types out there, those of you who work in the office, you work outside, uh, you're a very busy mother, a very busy father, grandparents, these nutrients are all for you. So number one, when it comes to top energy nutrients, I love using chaga every single day. Chaga is spelled C-H-A-G-A. This is actually a mushroom type nutrient grows on the side of birch trees in Siberia and also in Canada. Uh, it's grown in very cold climates. But chaga contains immune boosting properties, but more importantly, in this case, it increases our energy at the most unbelievable level, but in a very peculiar way. Think about this. How many of you procrastinate? How many of you know you've got to get things done, but you just don't have the want to to want to get it done? Well, believe it or not, chaga is the type of herb that not only increases our energy, I call it the anti-procrastination herb because it gets rid of procrastination. You take this herb, you're motivated to get things done. You think about that closet that you keep walking by that you know you have to clean it out. That garage that's full of so much junk that you can't even park your car in it. You know you've got to clean that out. You take chaga, you're going to find yourself cleaning your closet out. You're going to find out cleaning and straightening up your garage. And so many other things that you're trying to avoid. Chaga just helps us to get going and get those things done. And chaga can be taken every single day. When you break down the properties of chaga, chaga is the type of nutrient that helps to improve the overall function of the immune system. They have found a very strong anti-cancer properties in chaga. Uh, they do know that uh, it can protect the body against the effects of radiation, but more studies need to be done on this herb, but you can find this herb over the counter. I know Mushroom Wisdom sells a high quality chaga. North American Urban Spice sells high quality chaga. Uh, you can get it in, in many different forms. I take chaga every single day. When, when you have so much uh, stuff to get done, chaga should be number one on your list. Take it the first thing in the morning. You know, usually uh, if you want to take it in the morning, you can take it again at noon. But I can tell you one thing about chaga. Chaga works all day long. So you want to put that on your list as one of your top go-to nutrients and herbal compounds to improve your overall energy. Now think about energy for a moment. So many people drink caffeine, as I just mentioned, and we're forcing ourselves to do things. We're forcing ourselves to have energy. A lot of people have poor diets that do not promote uh, well-being in the body. So we can't have energy if we're just eating a bunch of junk food all day long. And I'm going to tell you here later on the show to avoid sh sugar, but Chaga is one of those things you can take every single day. It's something you can depend on. Even if you're tired, it will lift you up, mentally help you focus and get things done. So think about taking the Chaga Mushroom, C-H-A-G-A. -A. You can also find the information on my site as well. The next herb that I love for energy and women, this is a great one for many of you out there, is Peruvian Maca. Maca root, I've talked about Maca on this show on a regular basis. Maca root increases energy. You take a teaspoon every morning, mix it in with your smoothie. Maca doesn't taste really good. It comes from the turnip family, but boy, does it pack a punch when it comes to energy. But it also normalizes your hormonal function. If, you're, if you have hormonal imbalance, you have weak adrenal glands. Guys, if you have low testosterone, 
Maca helps to work in every area of the body when it comes to your hormonal health. The thyroid, the adrenals, the hormones puts everything back in balance. So ladies and gentlemen, you can benefit from taking Maca every single day, a teaspoon every morning, uh, and it'll get you kicked in the gear. A lot of people will notice Maca the first day they take it, just like the Chaga I just mentioned. You will notice it the first day you take it. And for some of you who have uh, a, a hormonal imbalance, a lot of fatigue, uh, a lot of a, adrenal exhaustion, you will notice your energy levels will be back to normal in about five to seven days. So take maca every single morning. Mix it in with your smoothie or some juice. You may even want to mix it in with your cup of coffee. That works too. Uh, so maca mixes with anything. There's also capsule forms available out there, but I always lean towards the powder. Powder uh, packs a bigger punch. So usually just a teaspoon a powder every single morning on the maca. Uh, the next nutrient that I love, it's been around for for centuries, uh, eleuthero root. We used to call this Siberian ginseng. Many of you have heard of Panax ginseng or Korean ginseng, American ginseng. Well, considering Korean or Panax ginseng, uh, Chinese ginseng is considered to be the most potent, the most balanced el is eleuthero root. And eleuthero root helps to protect our, protect our body against the effects of stress. It protects us against physical stress, mental stress, environmental stress. It strengthens and nourishes the adrenal glands. You, you know, your adrenal glands are responsible for adrenaline and cortisol levels. So you want your adrenaline healthy. You want to be producing that. You want to protect your adrenals against all those three forms of stress. Taking eleuthero... Uh, Every day uh, is uh, highly recommended. It's considered one of the best longevity herbs. So if you're over 60, 65, eleuthero root is actually made for people over the age of 60. Uh, in Asia, they kind of discount the fact that anybody under 60 has no business taking eleuthero root. Save it for those that are over 60. So whatever age you are, you can benefit from the uh, properties of eleuthero root. Also helps to improve the function of your immune system. Uh, they've done a lot of studies in Russia where uh, they've increased their productivity with their workforce by those taking eleuthero root on a daily basis. They have less sick days over a year's time. So for all of you uh, corporate types out there, corporate owners, Get all of your employees on eleuthero root, and you'll increase your productivity uh, just in a year's time and having less sick days of all of your employees. Fantastic herb. Uh, it's available in liquid extracts. It's available in tablets and capsules. Uh, just want to buy a high-quality eleuthero, but this herb absolutely works, increases focus, and also manages your cortisol level so that way you're less stressed out. But at the same time, you have a good source of energy. Uh, the next one, believe it or not, uh, iodine. Some of you have hypothyroidism. You're not getting iodine in your diet. Normally, you would eat seaweed. And if you're not into seaweed, uh, there are plenty of iodine supplements on the market. Uh, you want to take anywhere from 12 and a half to 25, upwards to 50 milligrams of iodine every single day. You want to nourish your uh, thyroid gland, your thyroid gland is responsible uh, in part along with the adrenal glands to improve your energy levels. Many of you have hypothyroidism, always complain about fatigue, weight gain, cold hands, cold feet, dry skin, brittle hair, constipation, uh, aches and pains. Sometimes it's just by kicking your thyroid in the gear and you need iodine. Now, besides just using iodine for thyroid, you do want to add selenium. Selenium converts the T4 to the the T3 in the liver. Look at zinc, vitamin B6, magnesium, potassium draws the more potent T3 into the cells so that way you feel the increase in metabolism, the increase in energy. Uh, if you don't uh, correct hypothyroidism, you do have brain fog, you can't focus very well. Uh, some people have mild depression symptoms because of a hypothyroid condition. So iodine is highly recommended. Another nutrient that I love, one of my top energy nutrients that I recommend to so many people is ribose. Or you may go to the store and you see it as D-ribose. And ribose is actually a five-carbon sugar that we're actually born with. So it's not a foreign substance. We're born with it. But as we get older, 
our bodies don't produce ribose like it used to. And we can supplement with ribose. Ribose uh, enters the system very, very quickly. Uh, take about five grams twice a day. If you have fibromyalgia or chronic, uh, I should say, congestive heart failure, take five grams of ribose three times a day. Uh, ribose is excellent for contraction and relaxation of the muscles as well as your heart. It's perfect for heart health. But a lot of athletes uh, use D-ribose. Uh, it's actually approved to be used in athletes that are in, in Olympic competition. Uh, it actually prevents you from getting tired. Uh, believe it or not, think about a marathon runner who starts the race off and his stride is really, really long. But as the race goes on, his stride gets shorter and shorter. It's because of the fact that he's used up all his ribose or she's used up all her ribose in that marathon. So you can replenish ribose. And think about how important this nutrient is. It, can, it does not interact with any types of medications. So with ribose, uh, even your top cardiology hospitals actually have ribose in the pharmacy. Uh, your top cardiologist uh, will use or give ribose to patients three days prior to heart surgery, which actually improves their heart function, reduces the mortality rate. Uh, the added benefit of ribose is that it can protect you against a heart attack, but if you were to have a heart attack, it can help to protect the heart muscle uh, from 25, you'll reduce the risk of heart damage by 25% and also allows you 25% more time to get to the hospital uh, so that way you don't die from the heart attack. So ribose has a strong, potent, protective factor to the heart and to our muscles. Uh, but again, it works in improving our energy levels. I uh, once interviewed a Olympic gold medalist uh, in speed skating and she used ribose between every heat. So think about this. If you're doing speed skating and like she did and you have four heats, she was able to take ribose between every heat before and after and maintain the same times around the track in all four heats, which is why she won the gold medal. A lot of athletes will get tired as they go from heat to heat, but she maintained her strength, maintained her speed, simply because of the ribose. It works that well. The good thing about ribose is you can take it every single day for the rest of your life. It works. It works great for the heart. I know three people who were placed on a heart transplant list that started taking ribose that were removed from the heart transplant list because their heart regained complete function and strength, and the doctors saw no reason that they needed a new heart simply by adding ribose to their diet. So those are the top nutrients. I also highly suggest that you get to bed on time. A good seven to eight hours of sleep is needed for the body to regenerate and to wake up feeling refreshed in the morning. Uh, don't start your day off with sugar. Don't start your day off with a five, 600 calorie coffee drink through the drive through I'm not going to mention any names. Don't start your day off with sugar laden cereals. Start your day off with with an apple. An apple is one of the best energy foods there is. If you're ever feeling kind of down and you need something, go grab an apple. By eating an apple, all you're going to feel your energy levels simply increase. And there, it's also great for strength. If you are, if you're going to the gym and you're lifting weights, then just uh, eat an apple because you can actually gain strength, physical strength, over time. So think about all of those nutrients. Go to my website at drwardbond.com. Uh, go to the blog section, type in the search box, energy, and you'll see the top energy nutrients, and you can read all about those. And I also want to encourage you uh, to look at my podcast at RadioMD.com slash Dr. Bond. We have new episodes every single week. Also, uh, I want to encourage you to sign up or just uh, sign up for free for our e-newsletter at Life Changing Wellness. And I want to thank all of my sponsors of my daily TV show and my weekly radio show. I, I want to thank Prevagen, the number one brain health supplement in America. I want to thank Herbal Ultra, Bright Core Nutrition, Carlson Labs, Mushroom Wisdom, and Pure Essence Labs as well. If you want to learn more about all of my sponsors, go to drwardbond.com. And I want to thank you for watching today's program. We have more coming to you tomorrow.